Good morning, brothers, sisters, and friends. 各位弟兄姐妹朋友们，大家早上好。We continue our session. 我们继续我们的这个呃活动。Uh, entering into understanding the Bible uh, a, a bit more clearly. 这次呢，我们要先去更加的了解圣经。Many a times when we read. The Bible, especially the Old Testament, we find it very difficult、uh, to understand. 每一次当我们在阅读圣经的时候，尤其是在旧约，我们都会发现有一点比较难去明白。And this morning, I hope to help us、uh, understand and appreciate a little bit about the Old Testament and how we can actually、uh, get our hands. Around the text. 那我希望今天呢，我们透过我们这个时间，我们可以在旧约这边更加去了解，好这些字眼、这些句子是关于到什么的。This morning, I would like to use the book of Deuteronomy, chapter eight, so that we can have a time to、uh, discover and uncover some of the challenges that we may have. As we read the Bible. 那么今天呢，我想要用《生命记》第八章来去明白、去揭露我们应该明白的东西是什么。When we read the Bible in the Chinese or the English, we must never think that that is the uh the 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 language that God is using. 每次我们当阅读圣经的时候，无论是英文或者华语，我们应该去知道，呃，其实神用的语言不是这个语言。Uh, we must always remember that the original language is in Hebrew. 我们必须常常去记得那个原文是在一个希伯来文。Uh, I understand that in the past many people have insisted that the Chinese translation or the English translation is a very good translation. 我相信呢，在很久以前，甚至到现在呢，很多人都是说。华语翻译出来或者英文翻译出来都是最好的。But we all know that no matter what language it may be, as long as it is a translation, it is not as accurate as we would like it to be. 每一次呢，但是我们要去明白，每一次我们去读这圣经，我们应该知道翻译出来的呢，并不是完全准确的。As you are listening this morning, I'm speaking in English, and it's translated into Mandarin. 好像你现在呢，好像他在说英文，我在翻译成华语。啊、uh, ，Then those of you who understand English and as well as Chinese will be able to find that there will be some challenges in the translation. 那么，如果你们当中有一些又会听华语又会听英文的话呢，你会发现到当中有一些挑战。Because English and Chinese are two very different languages. 这是因为英文和华文呢是两个很不同的语言。What more Hebrew and Chinese or Hebrew and English? 如果连华语跟英文那么复杂，那么呃，希伯来文跟英文或者希伯来文跟华文更不用讲了。We've been talking about the Hebrew culture and the Hebrew thinking, which is Eastern in nature. 那上次呢，我们有说到希伯来人他们的那个文化的话，思想是非常东方化。This morning, I would like to use this passage of Deuteronomy chapter eight to help us understand some of the challenges. 那么今天呢，我想要用这个生命记第八章，让我们去明白这些真正挑战、困难是什么。I'm sure when we read the Bible, it it sounds quite smooth. 我相信呢，当我们读那个圣经的时候，我觉得哎，那个文字是挺流畅。啊、uh, ，it it appears that God spoke in Chinese or God spoke in English。就像神在以华文或者英文来跟我们对话。And but if you are able to read the Chinese and the English translation together, there are differences。但是如果你把英文或者中文否翻译出来呢，有一些些不同。Because the Hebrew is the underlying original language. In the Hebrew language, 就是那个原文 And so we need to understand the text from a Hebrew viewpoint. 那么呢，我们要从这些句子当中呢，去明白这些意义，但是从一个希伯来人的方式 And the Hebrew viewpoint is a very Eastern viewpoint. 而呢，这个希伯来人的一个思想呢，是非常像我们东方人一样 Ah,、uh, it 
we may need to read it like a, a Chinese a little bit more. And not a Westerner. And if you recall uh, the, the last time we spoke, the, the Hebrew people are very practical people. And you'll find that they are always looking at the actions of the conversation. They do not usually look at words as something they can imagine or think. So when we read Deuteronomy chapter 8, try to read it like a typical Chinese. And look at the practical, concrete meanings. Now, I'm not able to show you what words in Hebrew that is not translated either in the Chinese or the English. Because there are a number of words that is in the Hebrew text that you will never see. That is why I have always said that a translation is good to read, but it is very challenging to study. And if we want to understand what the words mean, we cannot use the Chinese dictionary or the English dictionary. It is in Hebrew. And so most of us are handicapped in that area. So I would use the English and Chinese this morning to show us how to uh, give ourselves a better way of learning the text of the Bible. Verse 1, it says, Every commandment which I command you today you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. Now the arrangement of the words in Hebrew is quite different from how we have translated it. Uh, the, the focus of this text is actually on all the command or every commandment. Uh, the, 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 the focus is on every commandment. It is not on I command, but on every commandment. So the, if you understand that the focus is on all the commandment or every commandment, then you will then pay attention to what commandment. Otherwise, we might miss out and think that when Moses said, I command, and if that is a focus, we would have missed the whole point. So you understand that the background is when Moses is talking to this new generation of Israelites on the eastern side of the Jordan River before they entered into the Promised Land. And so, 
If we understand the context or the background, it is very important. 那么当我们真的去明白这个内容，还有这个它的背景的话，是很重要的。It is not talking about today. 它不是说今天。It is talking about about three thousand five hundred years ago. 而在说三千五百年前。And so, what do you mean by The new generation of Israelites. 那么呢，新一代的以色列人又是指着什么呢 ？And so another piece of information that we all must be able to understand is this. 那那有一些新的一些资讯呢，我们需要去一一起去明白，就是这个。When the Israelites left Egypt in Exodus chapter twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. 当以色列人呢？他们从那个离开埃及的时候，在出埃及记第十二、十三、十四章的时候 ，You will find that there are two generations of Israelites. 你发现他们有两代的这个以色列人 ，the twenty years and above， 二十岁或以上 ，and twenty years and below， 还有二十岁以下。Now we learn in Numbers chapter thirteen that the Israelites decided not to enter into the promised land because they were very afraid. 那那我在民宿界，我们可以知道以色列人呢，他不敢去这个应许之地，因为他们害怕。And so God says, "You will all die in the wilderness." 那么那个神就说，你们会全部在旷野那边死亡。But not everyone died in the wilderness because God protected the innocent ones. 但是呢，不是全部人都在旷野那边死，因为神呢，他去保护一些他们，他认为是无辜的。You see, they were at the border of the promised land. In the second year after they left Egypt, 那么他们在那个应许之地的那个边境那边呢，而他们在那个边界的时候是他们在两年后 ，but they were not able to enter. 但是呢，他们还是无法进入那个应许。And so the twenty year old and above are all to die in the wilderness. 那么呢，二十岁以上那些呢，全部都是要在旷野里面死。Because God helped them responsible for. Disobeying and distrusting God. Because, ah, God believes they are some disobedient people. But the twenty-year-old and below were preserved. But the twenty-year-old and below were preserved. And so God made them wander in the wilderness for forty years. So God made them wander in the wilderness for forty years. So God made them wander in the wilderness for forty years. So God made them wander in the wilderness for forty years. So God made them wander in the wilderness for forty years. 那么在那四十年的时候，也是一些小孩出生了。And there will be a lot of children. 那那边呢，也是有非常多的小孩。So we have now two generations of people sitting here listening to Moses. 那么我们有现在我们有两代的人呢，在这边坐着听摩西讲话。The twenty year and below who left Egypt. 呃，二十岁或以下那些人刚刚离开那个埃及了。And those who were born in the time of the wilderness. 呃，那些在旷野出生的孩子们。And so Moses is now reviewing everything he has said in the time of the wilderness at the first stage of the journey. 那么呢，摩西在他第一个阶段那个呃，在旷野的时候呢，他在跟他们说一些这些东西。And so these are all recorded in the book of Exodus. And a book of Leviticus. 那么呢，这些东西呢会在出埃及记和啊啊，那个呃，还有利未记那边有说出来。And you find that in these two books, God has instructed Moses to teach them the Torah. 那么呢，我在这边呢，我们看到神呢有叫摩西去教他们关于这个摩西五经。But there were many of them who were very young, and they were never there at in Exodus in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. They were very young, and they were never there in the book of Exodus. Because this is their time. It is the complementary instructions of that first year. 那么，如果在另一季去读的时候呢，他是在说那一个年的他们必须要去做的东西。But the book of Numbers is the beginning of the second year. 但是，如果你读民数记的话呢，就是说在第二年他们所说的一些东西。And so, you the the context, the background is very important. 所以呢，这个内容和它的背景是非常重要。So now, when we read 
Deuteronomy chapter eight. 当现在我们读生命记第八章 ，It says every commandment. 他说一切诫命。Are you sure that every commandment that God had told Moses is written in the Bible? 你可以确定吗？就是说，神给摩西的所有的诫命都写在圣经里面。And the answer is no. 呃，答案就是不是。We have a lot of instructions that God gave the Israelites recorded in the Bible. 我们有很多神给以色列人的一些诫命呢。都是在圣经里面 ，and these are very important instructions that God told Moses to write down. 而这些都是一些神认为非常重要的一些指示，然后叫摩西写下来。But there are a lot of instructions that were not written down. 但是也是有很多的指示没有被写下。And it was communicated to them verbally. 而就是以说话的方式跟他们说。Now for us who are not Israelites, we don't know what they are. 身为不是以色列人的我们呢，我根本不知道他们是什么。Because a lot of these instructions are very specific to the Israel nation. 因为呢，这些很多指示都是指定给这个以色列人。What is written down would be the law to that nation. 写下来一些东西呢，都是给那一个国际的人，那个时候的那些人。What is passed down verbally is how to implement it. 被说话以后，说话的方式给传下来的话，是如何去进行 ？And so when Moses said, "I have commanded you all kinds of commandments," 就是说，当那个摩西说我吩咐你一切的诫命时 ，and these will include the ones that is written down and the ones that has been spoken to them. 一切的诫命就指说写下的或者以说话的方式说出来的。And so what we have is written down. We don't have what is orally transmitted, but the Jews claim that they have that. 但是呢，我们要以被说话的方式去呃告知这些诫命。And it's not important for us today. 对于今天来说呢，呃，不是那么重要。Because we are not Jews. 因为我们不是犹太人。And we are not the ones who are instructed to do these things. 而我们也不是被命令要去做这些的人。But what is written down here is important to us. 但是这里所写下来的，对我们来说是非常重要。Because it shows us the heart of God. 因为呢，它让我们知道神所要的东西。Uh, it shows us the character of God. 让我们知道神的这个角色。And then when we study and the 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 text itself, we are here to learn about God. 那么当我们读这个经文的时候，我们去学习关于神的。See, we we learn about history and the the story of the Israelites. They went into the wilderness, and much of this is taught to the children. 那么呢，我去呃学一些故事啊，这些历史之类，而这些人怎么样去这个。放野兽，这些很多东西都被教育小孩子。But I want to point out to us this morning that the purpose of reading the Bible as God has given us is to know Him. 那么呢，今天想让我们让大家知道，其实我们真正读圣经的理呃原因呢，是因为神要我们去认识他。And all the commandments that God has written down here for the children of Israel is also left for us to read. 那么神呢，这呃，在这个写下这些诫命呢，给这些以色列人的时候呢，也是要让我们去读。The second point here is that Moses said, "I command you today." 第二个点就是说，摩西说我今日所吩咐你。And so the idea of command is to make sure that、uh, they will receive it as an instruction. 这个所吩咐呢，这个字就是说他们会接受。一个接受指示的方式接受 ，and as an instruction they are to do it。所谓的指示就是说他们要去做。See those of us with children, we will understand when you tell your children to do something, that is a command。那么有时候呢，你去叫你孩子去做些东西，那是一个指示。It is not an option。它不是一个选择。They cannot choose to say I will do this and not that。它不可以说哦，我要做这个，而不要做那个。And so it is important for us then to realize that as Moses gave them the command, it must be done. So, I want you to know that when Moses gave them these instructions, they must do it. Your children is to do what you are telling them to do. Your children is to do what you are telling them to do. Your children is to do what you are telling them to do. Your children is to do what you are telling them to do. 
你不去给他们个选择，选择可以不要去做。Because if it is an option not to do, then it would be a suggestion. 如果只是一个选择可以不要做的话，那个不叫指示，那个叫做建议。And it would be open to you to decide whether you like to do it or you don't like to do it. 而且呢，就是说开放给你去选择，你自己要不要做。And so when Moses said, "I command today," it means he is giving them all this so that they will do it. 但是当摩西说我吩咐你们，就是说给他们，而且让他们去做。And as a parent, if your child doesn't do it, what do you do? 而身为一个父母亲的话呢，如果你孩子不去做的话，你怎么样 ？They will be disciplined. 你他们就会被惩罚。And similarly, when the Israelites do not do them. They will be disciplined. It's 一样的。当以色列人不去做、不去跟着指示的话，我们被惩罚。And so, what are they supposed to do is to, uh, that you must be careful to observe. 而那如果你真他们要去做，就是说你要去小心谨慎，遵行。And it is for them to be, uh, and and in the Hebrew, it says you must definitely keep it and definitely. Do it. 那么，如果真的在希伯来文的话，就是说你一定要把这些所谓的诫命呢放在心里，然后真正去做。And so the idea of to keep or here it says to observe is to guard it. 这里呢，我们所说谨守或者我们所说的遵循，就是说你要真正的放在你心里。Now here in the Hebrew has two words. It is to guard and then to do. 而呢，如果当我们在这个希伯来文的话，我们有两个字，也就是说去谨守还有去遵循。And it is recorded in the Chinese, but it's not in the English. 但是呢，在这个英文的呃，不好意思，在华语的翻译里面呢，他没有提到，但是在英文的翻译就没有提到。And so the Chinese generally has better translation than the English. 所以大多数的那个华文的翻译呢，都会比英文的比较好。And so this word here. You must keep. 就是说你们要谨守。It means that the Israelites have to do it and be focused to guard the commands of God. 就是说呢，那个以色列人一定要去做，然后去遵循这些东西。啊 ，no to guard. 哦，去谨守这些。And to guard means to keep it safe. 谨守就是说好好的爱护去保护。You see, the words of God or the commands of God is like. Uh, precious stones. 神的诫命就是一个很珍贵的宝石。And so you will have to keep it so that people will not steal it. 你学好好的去保护它，人家才不会拿偷走。And you will not lose it. 而且也不会遗失。And you are to pass it down to the next generation. 而且你会把它给下一代。So that they can also guard it. 那么他们也是可以好好的去保护。And so that the word of God will be communicated generation to generation to generation. 所以神的话语呢，也是从一代传去下一代，再传去下一代，接着下去。The second word here is to, uh, to do it. 第二个就叫你去遵行去做。Now the English doesn't quite express it that way. 但是呢，在英文的翻译呢，还没有这样子的说法。The Chinese expresses it correctly. 但是在华语的话，在华文翻译的话，他们有说出来。So it says to do it. 就是说叫你去遵行。And to do it means to do it. 遵行就叫你去做。And so the commands of God is not for us to think about it. 神的诫命不是让我们只是思想。It is for them to one guard and protect it, and number two. To do it, okay. So, so, their this thought, the first you have to guard, the second you have to obey. And that's what God wants the Israelites to do. This is what God wants the Israelites to do. This is what God wants the Israelites to do. We need to ask ourselves, what does these words actually mean? So, when we read these verses, we need to know. 这些文章、这些字眼，它真正的代表的意思是什么 ？You find that if you read the English Bible, we are beginning to find that there are certain words that is not so clearly translated. 但我在读这个英文的这个翻译的经文的时候，你会发现有一些字也没有那么的准确被翻译出来。When you read the Chinese, it translates both the Hebrew words. 那么如果你读华语所翻译出来的圣经呢？你觉得你发现？他把这两个希伯来文都被翻译出来。But the words itself does not completely explain the Hebrew. 
。但是那个字也呢，没有完全的去诠释这个希伯来文。But it's better than the English. 但是还是比英文的好。So we have a problem when we read the Bible. 所以当我们读圣经的时候，会多多少少有一些问题。So when we read it, you get the the general idea. 当你读的时候，你只是可以知道表表面上的一些。But it's difficult to go deep into it. 但是如果你要去下一个阶段或者再更深入了解，就有一些困难。Because we need to know the Hebrew. 因为我们必须要去知道这个希伯来文。And so God says, I, uh, uh, Moses is saying, I am telling you today. I'm commanding you today. 摩西就说，今日我吩咐你。Not forty years ago. 不是四十年前。Why? Because many of them were not there forty years ago. Because they were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. They were many of them were born in the wilderness in the last so many years. I'm telling you again. 那摩西呢？他今天会这样子说的。我今日所吩咐，还要把四十年前他们已经死了这些祖先呢所说的话跟他们讲。Now in the English, the next word is that. 接下来呢，那个英文呢就叫做。好叫你们。And then you wonder, what is the big deal of the word that? 那么你觉得好像你们这个话有什么那么特别 ？You see, the English and the Chinese is already slightly different in meaning. 所以你看到在英文还有华语都有些不同。This word in the Hebrew means this is the reason why I am telling you this. 那么呢，在希伯来文真正话就说，这是为什么我告诉你的原因。It is not a suggestion. 它不是一个建议。See, when God tells them to do something, there is a purpose. 当神叫我们做些东西，一定有一个原因。They are to guard the commands of God. 他们需要去谨守这些神的诫命。They are to do the commandments of God. 而他们也是要去遵循神的诫命。For this purpose. 为了这个原因。What is the purpose here? 那么这个原因又是什么呢 ？The purpose is that you will, you may live. 那个呃，原因就是说，因因为你们可以存活。Now the Chinese is better than the English. 那么在华语的话比英文好 ，because the Hebrew meaning is that that you can continue to be alive. 那因为在希伯来文的话说，你可以继续生存 ，which is what is translated in the Chinese. 那就是在这个我们所看的华语这翻译出来的。And the English says that you may live doesn't have much of an impact. 那么在那个英文的话说 you may live， 它没有那么大的那个影响。It is to tell them if you keep the commandment of God and do it, you will continue to be alive. 那么如果在希伯来文就是说，如果你去谨守遵行的话。你可以继续生存下去。What do you mean you can continue to be alive? 嗯，什么意思呢？你可以继续生存下去。It is to tell them that as a nation you will continue to survive. 那么好，意思是说，当你成为一个国度的时候，你可以继续的存活。Because the nation of Israel, the purpose is to obey God. 因为以色列人他们的国度呢，他们的主要目的是要去遵守神的。Because they are God's nation. 因为他们是神的子民。And they are God's people. Ah, is 神的人民 And so the second one is when you are able to survive, you will multiply. 而如果你真正可以去存活的话，他第二个就是说你人数会增多 And so whatever number they have there today, it will grow. 那么他们那个时候有的那个人数呢，会越来越多 You see. If they continue to survive, they will have time to have more children. 那么如果你看的话呢，如果他们真正继续存活下去的话，他们有机会有更多的后代。They are related. 那你看他们有一些关联。And so now you find that the third thing comes in that you now have to go in. 那么现在你可以看，有第三个东西看见，就是说且进去。Now the going in may not mean very much to us today. 那么进去的话呢，对我们来今天的我们来说，没有那么大的含义。I have suggested to us that the Hebrew people are very action-oriented people. 那一开始我说过了，那个希伯来人的话呢，他们也比较主要靠看到东西比较现实。See, you cannot have the land unless you go into the land. 那么呢，如果你想要拥有那一块地的话。
After this, uh, I think all of us may go for lunch. If you stand outside the restaurant, you can only see the food. You will never be able to enjoy the food. And so in the Chinese thinking, to be practical, you must go into the restaurant. There is nothing spiritual about going in. From a Hebrew viewpoint and a Chinese viewpoint, it is very practical. If you don't go in, there's nothing to eat. Now, of course, today you can we can order online. I'm trying to show us that the, the practicality of going into the promised land. Now the next thing is after they go in, they are to possess the land. So what does it mean to possess the land? Let me share with you the the interesting part of the word possess. And to possess the land is to take the land. But when you take the land, those who were there has to give up the land. So the word in Hebrew has both meanings. To possess and to dispossess is the same word. So to possess is for the Israelites to take. To dispossess is for the Israelites to take away from those who were there. That is what God wants them to do. See, we always say this is the promised land of God. You notice that God did not tie a bow and hand it to them. We always say God gave the Israelites the land. The meaning that God gave them the land is to tell them that is the land I'm giving you. But you have to go in and possess it. And to possess it, you have to fight. And to win, you must listen to me. So God did not give them a birthday present. God gave them a land so that they recognize who is God and who is man. Now the second word here is the land. The land is a very specific land. You see, in the Hebrew, the word the, the word the is something very definite, but you can't see it in the Chinese, but you can see it in the English. And the word the refers to a land that Moses knows and the Israelites know. So There is no guesswork here. They know exactly what land they are going in. And that land is just across the Jordan River. Not any other land. And so in the Hebrew, it's very definite. One of the things that we may not remember, and since we don't didn't read Deuteronomy chapter 3, is that there were many pieces of land that God gave other people. 
就是说，神还有把许多其他的地方给别人。This is recorded in Deuteronomy chapter three. 这有在呃《生命记》第三章有提到。Did you know that besides the Israelites, God gave other land to other people? 那么你知道吗？除了给这个以色列人呢，神也是有把其他地方给其他的人。Now this is something that nobody talks about. 这是呢，不是全部人或者可以甚至说没有人会谈起的一件事情。And probably they never read Deuteronomy chapter three. 而且有可能呢，他们没有读到申命记第三章。It's in the same book. 是在同一本书。I think it is because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we read the Bible. Because I think, because we have a habit of jumping here and there when we Do not jump around. 而不是说我要跳呃，可以跳过一个章节。Because it will be very hard to know the context. 因为呢，你这样子的话，就很难去明白那个内容。So point number one, I want you to realize is God did not only give Israel land. 那么呢，我要你们知道，神不只是给以色列人那一块地。God gave three other nations. Land. 但是神呢，也是把给那个地呢，给三个其他的国民。There were three pieces of land that God gave to other people. 那么有三块地呢，神也是有给别人的。The first one is to、uh, Esau and the descendants of Esau. 第一个就是说是给以撒和他的那些后代。And the descendants of Esau are called Edom. 那么呢？ Esau, Edom, Esau, Esau, Edom, Edom. Ah, so he gave Edom that name. And so that is a land called Edom. Then there is a place called Edom. 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 And God gave it to Esau. Then God gave it to Esau. And his descendants. 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 那么呢，如果你看那个《创世纪》的话，罗罗特呢还有两个女儿 ，and he had children from the two daughters。而且呢，从那两个女儿那边呢也是有孩子。and we may think it is such a awful story。那我觉得是一个很可悲的故事。but God gave the two sons that came from that relationship two pieces of land。但是呢，神呢就把两块地赐给那个两个孩子，就从那个关系里出来的两个孩子。The first is to Moab， 第一个是给摩甲，摩甲。And the second land is just north of it called Ammon。那么呢，第二个就是在它的北边叫做阿门，阿门。亚门。And so now we have three pieces of land that God gave to. Three different descendants. 那么现在我们有三个不同的地呢，神给三个呃后代。But now is the last piece of land that God is now telling the Israelites, I am going to give you this land across the Jordan. 那么呢，现在呢，这个是最后一块地，神会赐给他们，就是在这个约旦河的对岸而已。And God says, This is the land that I swore. To your fathers. 那么，神有说这块地是我启示给你的父亲的。The word swear is a very important word. 启示这个字眼呢，是一个非常重要的字眼。Now it's important to the Israelites and the Hebrew people. 对以色列人或对希伯来人来说，都是一个非常重要的字眼。When we read it, it it doesn't mean very much. 但我们读的时候看起来没有那么重要。In the Hebrew Bible. For someone to swear in the name of God is to make sure that it must be done. 当一个人起誓的时候，以神的名义去起誓的时候，就要确定他真正会去做。And if you don't do it, you die. 如果你不做的话，你就会死。It is that serious. 这是那样的严肃严重。And God swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 那么呢，神起誓给谁？给亚伯拉罕？呃。伊撒还有那个雅各 ，and that swearing means God is an eternal God。那么这个启示证明了神是一个永世的神。And he is using his own character to guarantee that this land will definitely be given 
to the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 那么呢，他以他自己的名义去确保这一块地呢，会呃给亚伯拉罕、以撒还有这个雅各。And that is the seriousness of God swearing to the fathers. 那么呢，你可以看得出神对那个。他们的父亲启示这个东西有多么的严肃。And now they are about to enter and possess the land. 那么呢，现在他们要进入，而且去得到那个那地。You know what was the condition? 你知道那个条件是什么吗 ？Verse one, all the commandment you must keep and do. 就是说，我在第一节看到所有的诫命，一切诫命你要遵守遵行。The land's condition is for you to obey God. 那么呢，你要进去就说叫你要去听神的话。One of the important pieces of information that we seldom talk about is that while God gave the land to Israel, the land still belongs to God. 那么呢，有一个点我们都常常都忽略，说当神说把这一块地给以色列人，但是那一块地还是属于神的。We are always thinking, well, the land belongs to Israel. We 常常都说应许的那一地呢，永远都是属于以色列人。And it's true in a certain sense. 在某一个角度来讲的话，是正确的。Ah, they can actually pass the land down to the next son and the next generation and the next generation. 他们可以把那一块地呢，从一代传去下一代，再传去下一代。But the land is still God's land. 但是那一块地呢，是属于是神的。Because the day they do not keep the word of God and do it, they will lose the land. Because 呢，只要有如果有一天他们没有谨守遵循神的话语呢，他们就失去那一块地。And so we learn that over time, when they disobey God, the Assyrians came and then the Babylonians. 那么我们知道，如果他们那个时候他们没有遵循的时候，就有外人来被攻打我们的国家。And so. Verse one is so important to us. 那么我可以看到第一节对我们来说是那么的重要。But not important about the Israelites' behavior. 而不是说呃以色列人的行为。It's important to us because we can see God's character in this verse. 我们从这里呢可以看到神的这个角色，他的那个性格。How can we see God's character? 我们怎样去看到神的性格是怎么样的 ？See, when we read the Bible, especially the Old Testament, we have to keep asking ourselves, what is God doing here? Why is He doing this? Who is He? 那么每次我们读旧约的时候，我们读到我们去问自己。神在这里做什么？他是谁？为什么他这样子做 ？Number one, God cares for His people. 就第一句说，神去有去关爱他的子民。And God's position to His people is that He is God. 那么神呢？对他子民来说，他就是最高至最荣耀的神。And Israelites are just His、uh, chosen people. 而以色列就是说他所选的人民。And if God is God, then God gives His word and instructions and commands to His people. 那如果神是真的神的话，他去给他的子民，他所要的指示。God doesn't want His people to guess what to do. 神呢，不要他的子民去猜想要做什么。God wants His people to just do what He says. 因为神呢，要他子民只是真去遵守他所说的一些话。See, we learn about God's character by understanding that God doesn't want Us today to guess what he wants. 我们从这里可以看到，神呢，不要我们今天我在座的各位呢去想，他要我们做什么。Just as a parent will tell the child exactly what to do， 就是像呢一个父母亲呢会跟他们孩子说，真正要去去做东西。God tells his people what to do。神也是告诉他子民要他们做什么。You know why God keeps calling Israelites? The children of Israel. You know why God calls Israel to be His children? Because God treats them as children. 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 Because And he wants us to know today. 而且呢，还是要今天我们去知道。All the commandments that is written down, we can know. 他所写的一些诫命呢，我们都知道。And through his commandments, we know God. 而且透过他的诫命呢，我们可以去知道神认识神。God's commandments have conditions. 
神的那个诫命呢，也是有条件。And so God gave conditions to the Israelites. 所以呢，神给这以色列人这些条件。Most of the time we say God is unconditional, isn't it? 有时候我们每次说呢，神都有很大量的爱。No, God is unconditional. 没有无无界无条件。对。I will tell you this. 我会让跟告诉你。That is not true. 是不对的。Just as a parent to a child. There is no such thing called no condition. 就好像你对待你孩子没有东西说是无条件。You always say if you do well in school, I will give you ice cream. 你每次说如果在学校表现的话，我就给你一个冰淇淋。There is no such thing says I will give you ice cream no matter whether you are good or bad. 那因为呢，你没有说过我无论你是好或坏，我都给你冰淇淋。So God treats the children of Israel exactly the same way. 所以呢，神对以色列人的子民一样的方法。When they are good and obedient. 当他们是呃好，而且也是听呃听从他的话语 ，They can continue to live in the land。他们就可以继续在那块地那边活下去。There is no ice cream， <笑>没有 ice cream 吗 ？Because to live in the land is a gift of God。因为呢，他们可以在一个那块地存活呢，是神给他们一个，他们可以当做。But if they disobey God， they will be taken out from the land。因为呢，如果他们不顺从的话呢，他们就被从那块地被驱赶出去。This is the second point. God is a conditional God. 神就是说一个有条件的神。It is an Oriental Eastern thinking, isn't it? 是一个非常东方的一个思想。It is not a Western thinking. 而不是一个西方人的思想。There is no such thing called unconditional in a Chinese thinking. 对华人来说呢，没有东西是无条件的。The third point. 第三个点 is the faithfulness of God. 就是神对他的呃忠心。And so God swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 当呢，神对亚伯拉罕、以撒还有那个雅各起誓的时候。And now they are at the eastern shore of the Jordan River. 所以呢，现在我们在那个约旦河的那个东边。Four hundred years have passed. 四百年已经过了。Four hundred years is nothing to God. 四百年来说，对神来说是没有东西。As long as God has promised them, God will do it. 当神呢答应了他们过后呢，神就会做。And so they are now looking at what God has sworn. 他们现在是看这神所对他们所应许的是什么。The third point I want to point out to you is that God says what He will do and do what He will say. 所以呢，现在我让你们看，就是说神所说他会做什么，而且要他们去做神要他们所做的东西。No. Let me repeat this: God will do what He says and says what He will do. So 神会做他。Uh, God will do what He says. 神会做他所说的东西。And God will say what He will do. 而且神也是说他要做的东西。And so what God says and what God does is very consistent. 所以呢，神所说的，而还有他所做的，都是一个一致性，一致性的。You see, God does not tell jokes. 你看，神他从来没有讲笑话。You know why God doesn't tell jokes? 你知道为什么神不讲笑话吗 ？You will never know when is it a joke and when is it not a joke. 因为你从来不会知道几时是在讲笑，几时。Because when you read the Bible, you cannot say ha ha ha. God is a serious God. 神是一个严肃的神。So that you can trust and depend on what He says, because He will do as He says. 所以呢，你可以依靠以相信他所说的东西。So now God is saying, I have sworn to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 所以你有看到神说，我启示给亚伯拉罕、以撒还有以撒还有雅各。And now you are going in. This is the faithfulness of God. This is 神的信实 And so we are to look at God not so much as Israel. 所以你要看神呃 We need to look at God. 我们必须要去看神 Not so much about Israel. 但是而不是去看那么多的关于以色列 Well, Israel reflects us, I think. 那么以色列人呢？我就觉得跟我们有点 And how? How foolish we can be sometimes. 有时候呢，我们是可以变得比较愚蠢。But more importantly, when you read the Bible, we must start to think about who God is. 啊，那么我在读圣经的时候，比较重要就是说，我们要去知道谁是神。You cannot imagine God. 你无法去想象神
You can only know God from how He revealed to us. We have only spent this time on one verse. But it is a simple verse. But the meaning in the Hebrew is much more than what we will ever read in the Chinese and the English. And we can see a lot more if we have the right angle and the right perspective to read the Bible. May God bless all of us when we read the Bible with the purpose to know God. And we will know him. And may God bless us all.